Hi guys, it's your girl Johanna Ali from Soberry Joe and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching and welcome back. So today I wanted to share a little fabric haul. I've received some fabrics, I've purchased some fabrics, and I want to talk about what I want to do with them. So let's get right into it. So my very first project that I have coming up that I need to work on like ASAP is my next fabric mark feature. So what I plan on doing, um, let me show you the fabrics that I got. So this is a red uh, knit fabric. It's so soft. I love it. I think it's such a pretty fabric. and. I thought that it would be perfect for a t-shirt so I'll show you what patterns I plan on using for it but I also got this blue linen fabric I am so in love with this fabric I'm so in love that I don't plan on pre-treating this fabric I know I pre-treat all of my fabrics and I'm I advocate that always but this fabric is so pretty that I don't want to wash and I don't want to get it all messed up so I am not a dry cleaning girl, but I guess I will be because I'm not pre-treating this fabric. So now, what do I plan on making with them? So I purchased um, Mimi, well, I did. I purchased Mimi G's book, but she also sent me a copy. So in this book, she I talked about the book in my last video. One of the patterns that she has in here is a basic t-shirt, a basic fitted tee. So this is what I plan on using. I will be making it longer. She's, it's like a crop top. I'm not making it a crop top. I'm making it a regular size t-shirt, um, regular length t-shirt, I should say. And then I was also looking through my pattern stash to get some inspiration. And I found this pattern, Simplicity 9645. I like, this view this is totally adorable the raglan sleeves is so cute and to make it puffy uh, I, I love it I think it's really really cute so if I don't use the pattern that's in the book I may use this you'll have to stand by and see um, it'll be up on the first Monday of October is when it goes up so um, that's what I plan on doing with this red fabric I know it looks kind of pink because of the lighting, but it is a red. Maybe it's coral. <laughs> um, and then with this fabric, I plant, so I made a make nine list that I, I need to talk about some other time, but from now until the end of the year, I plan on mainly focusing on the things that I put on that list to make because I'm really bad at keeping up with those lists even though I make them. I don't keep up with them, but I'm determined to make at least 50% of the items that I have on there. I'll make a video talking about what I've made already, but uh, one of them is that I've been a SOA Academy student since it opened. And um, I, I watch the videos, <laughs> but I am really bad at actually making the projects. I watch the projects within the last year I would say uh, every monthly course now comes with a pattern exclusive to Sew It Academy and so I said that I want to make one course outfit or a quarter I gave myself the quarter so a few months ago they came out with these wide leg linen pants I'll post them up so you can see what they look like they're beautiful they're a straight leg well not straight leg because they're wide leg so they're a wide leg pant with um, a button fly not button fly with a, a button um, waistband and I think it has like a single pleat in the front they're beautiful beautiful pants and I've been wanting to make them my 
thing that I always shy away from sewing are pants. I don't know why. I always feel like I'm going to have fit issues because I have a short torso. But I'm going to tackle those pants uh, this week and next week. And I'm going to use this linen. I think it's gorgeous. Look at how pretty it is. And it has a nice drape. And so I think that these two fabrics go well together for what I plan on using them for. So stand by for that. And then, and then. So next, I just opened up this chevron. It's a chevron shirting blue. I thought I got red. I was going between blue and red but blue is my favorite color so I probably decided on getting the blue so I just received this in the mail it is a shirting and it has like a chevron pattern to it if you can see um, I received this from melanated fabrics thank you and the tag says 52% cotton 26% linen and 20 two percent rayon it's it's so yummy I could use this to make the pants but that's not what this is for and the width is 54 55 and the care is hand wash and lay flat to dry do not bleach so I purchased this because another pattern in the book is um, actually I'll, sh I'll share that one in a moment so I want to make a button-up shirt, a collared button-up shirt. So I was looking through my stash and I picked this pattern out. This is Simplicity 9554 by Mimi G. Um, so I think that this is really cute. There's also another option in the book that I will share in a moment. But that's what I plan on doing with this. I want to make a button-down shirt of some sort so that is that um a few weeks ago my friend chris from unsocial i'll tag i'll share her instagram handle so you can follow her she came to visit and we got to meet in real life and i took her fabric shopping we went to my local fabric store which is called a to z fabrics and she picked up some things and i said i wasn't gonna pick any pick up anything but i did so she was purchasing like all of these pinks and I just happened to notice this pretty fabric. It was in the shirting section also. It has a really pretty drape. It's not see-through, it's an opaque fabric. It doesn't really have much stretch. So um, I was thinking of making a dress with this. I'm not really sure yet, but I did want to share this fabric as part of my, my fabric haul. And then, um, then I got two different denims. So a jean jacket is also on my make nine list. So I've had a denim jacket on my list forever in a day but I actually purchased the fabric now so I bought two different washes because I want to make two different things so back in the day I had this jean jacket that I purchased from the Gap that I just wore until I couldn't wear anymore like my elbows were worn so I literally couldn't wear it anymore and I've been wanting to replace it but I figured that I could make my own and so I picked up about three yards of this, three or four, I don't even know, of this nice weight denim up, oh, wrong side. But really, you could use either side if you wanted to. But I'm gonna use this side for a denim jacket. And what I had in mind, again, another Mimi G pattern. This is Simplicity 8845, and it's your typical a uh, very classic denim jacket so I plan on using this pattern to make my denim jacket hopefully by the end of the year and then I also purchased a darker wash denim because it was so pretty and it's so it was so affordable at A to Z 
Um, this is a dark wash. It's so nice. I love this color blue. It is not stretch. It has no, no stretch in it at all. So I picked out, I, I have some things in mind and I do, I have so much of it that um, I could make a few things. So one of the things that I wanted to do with the dark wash is make this fitted denim skirt that is in Mimi G's book. So see if you can see that. I think the skirt is so cute and she includes the pattern. So that is one option. Then I started going through my patterns and decided to pull out a few other inspiration patterns that I have in my stash and to give you guys ideas of things that you can make with denim. So this is Brandy Joan or Brandy Joanne. I think it's Brandy Joan because there's not two ends. Uh, she's new to McCall's. This is McCall's 8410 and she has this matching denim set which really you can make it out of any fabric but I do like the denim. Uh, this is one option of something that I could do with it. I think I featured this in my my McCall's fabric uh, pattern haul. And then we have uh, Brittany J. Jones. This is Nomi 2008. So as you see, she made her pants in denim also. And this looks like a classic baggy, well not fitted pant. I like these a lot. So this is a, a good option. And then I pulled out Norris Ford's um, pattern that I purchased. This is Nomi 2024. These are a cargo denim pant. I like that. I like the detail and obviously I would just modify it for my measurement. I wanted to show you the pattern lines back here. Very pretty. So I, I like this as an option and then the, this pattern has been around forever but I probably won't be able to use it with this denim because this this is for uh, stretch. So this pattern requires a stretch denim. Mrs. Skinny Jeans, separate pattern pieces included for slim, average, and curvy. Chino, corduroy, denim, sateen, stretch denim, stretch wovens. Um, I don't know that I could use the, the denim that I have, but anyway, this is Simplicity 8516. It's been around forever and a day, and it's actually the pattern that I had listed in my um, Make Nine list. But I also have, I actually have a pair of denim pants already cut out that I never made. So maybe I will tackle those um, before the end of the year. So those are on my Make Nine list for 2023. So folks, that is really the end of my little fabric haul. I'm really trying not to purchase fabric because behind this curtain is fabric. <laughs> so I need to get myself together. And I really do try not to purchase fabric because it's pretty, because I've done that for long enough, it's time to stop. But I do receive gifted patterns. I have my uh, my Fabric Mart fabric that I receive, and I've recently teamed up with Melanated Fabrics, and they're sending me pretty fabrics to make pretty things, so how could I say no? But um, anyway, that is really the end of my fabric haul slash sewing plans slash get my life together and make that make nine list um so i hope that you guys enjoyed my video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe to my channel and i will talk to you guys next time bye